Jack and Jills, I'm Epic Botch, and welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. In the last episode, we figured out how to get down into the secret room. That the secret room was a place where the person, Vanderbilt or whatever, held his victims to suffer because that's what the sleeper wants. And we found out that Ethan's grandfather died by fire. And now we're gonna wake up Ethan. Oh gosh, that just sounds awful. Don't wake up the sleeper. He's sleeping. Ethan, wake up. Hey, kid. You stopped it. It was horrible, but you stopped it. Paul Prospero? Are you... Are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. Oh, yikes. Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. See the bridge? Damn. The church. This place. Stories? Question mark? Space capsule? Huh. Oh! Okay, cool. So there was something I did miss here. I didn't explore enough. Oh, that's cool. They just made your time travel, time travel, that backtracking a little bit simpler because I did not explore enough around here. But what was there to Okay, so we're just seeing part of a picture. <sighs> so what are we missing over out here in the middle of nowhere that the game started in? <sighs> this game. There's traps around here, right? Is it filling in more of the pictures the more traps I find? I think I've only found three so far. Oops. Surely there's more traps then, because I don't know where it's pointing us. Okay, so we found four. It's still not quite enough. We need to find one more. Where's this last trap? There it is. Oh my. Oh, here's a note. 
An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, so, uh, because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest, and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Interesting. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But, Grant, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Oh, there's bottles. Oh. One dead in house fire. Let's see. The fire, uh, the fire damaged a historical home in Red Creek Valley yet Wednesday morning, according to the officials from Bay County Fire Department. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out at the remote house, once owned by Albert Vandegriff at 46 Old uh, blah 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 <laughs> Red Creek Valley. Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Oh. That's Carter's grandma. Remain, um, remaining family members were able to escape Carter's husband, Edwin, his gr Ethan's grandpa, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 1.22 a.m. and remained at the scene until about 5 a.m. Wednesday. They returned to the property four hours later to extinguish hot spots, which had rekindled. Is there anything else? After a heated uh, public hearing, no answer for, uh, for Vandegrift's heirs by Block. Members of Vandegrift's family again gathered in the Bay County Courthouse today to debate the fate of the fortune, which had remained in escrow since 1961. Hmm. When family patriarch Albert Vandegrift, 70, uh, 71? I think that's 71, died in a mine accident. <gasps> Was that the creepy guy we saw in the mine? The after effects of which nearly destroyed Vandegrift's industrial and severely damaged the local economy. James Vandegrift, 38, of Chicago, argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that many Vandegrift family members have personal reasons for wanting to avoid leaving, living in Red Creek Valley on the Vandegrift estate, as stipulated in the elder Vandegrift's will. The recent fire in which the Vandegrift home was damaged, um, he said, only underlined his family's concerns. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. Okay, so how is Ethan related to all of this? I don't know, but we'll find out. We have one more area that apparently I didn't discover. Not really. Because I just went the direct route over stuff when I... <laughs> when I did this. Alright, let's... Oh, I can just walk right through it. Thank you for... I already traveled there, didn't I? House of Portals. Excellent. Hmm... I think I'm going to call it an episode there. It might be a little short, Jack and Jills. If it is, I'm sorry. If... But in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and figure out where this question mark, question mark, question mark place is. I'm pretty sure I don't want to know, but I'm going to find out. If you liked the episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep up on what we're doing. I'll see you guys in the next episode.